Okay, mom. You're going to want to have your semi-gloss <clears throat> paint, paintbrush. Instead of a screwdriver, you're going to want a paint can opener, a little uh, container. Um, they make them specifically for brushes for painting like that. And uh, they also have nicer paint brushes. You want to have a dry rag and a damp rag. Not soaking wet, just damp. That way if you have to clean up, you can clean up. Uh, you also want to have some cardboard down where you're at. And then probably like a manila folder for trimming in the edges. I'm going to get that stuff and we're, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Okay, so you have already have washed the trim, the door, whatever, with uh, soap and water. Dawn works the best. And then you're going to go ahead and open up. Again, you'll use a paint opener. And you just go around a little bit at a time, all the way around, until the lid comes off. There you go. You can either... Put some of that in to the little bucket or whatever. I don't have time for that right now, so I'm just or a little handheld one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go off the edge here. Okay. What you want to do is you want to brush it on pretty light because everything's already done. You're just kind of touching it up. You're sprucing it up. So you just get that, wipe it off. There shouldn't be anything dripping there. It shouldn't be even close to dripping. Uh, you can use a manila folder like this on that outside edge and then that gets you that outside part pretty easy without getting the color on the wall and you're just kind of touching it up that okay that's wet so make sure that you put it somewhere that you don't step on it just a little bit of paint dip it in not real tall not real far up the brushes okay and just kind of stroke it on nice and light and every so often you just take a nice long stroke to make sure you don't end up with any Drips. Drips are absolutely the worst thing that happens because they're really hard to fix. There you go. It takes a while. You'll get a feel for it, but whatever you do, don't get tempted to put too much paint on. Because if you put too much paint on, you're going to run it and drip it and make a mess, and that's no fun. And I don't want to have to clean up all the doors and the paint when you get when I get there. <clears throat> there we go. Now, when it comes to door handles and stuff like that, it's probably best to put some tape around those. Um, and if you're comfortable, you can always cut in like this. But I would highly recommend sticking with the with using the um, the manila folder trick. I've painted a lot more. So this is not really an uncomfortable thing for me to do. Okay. And just keep on going. Gotta be careful on the edge so the bristles don't go over and hit the wall. Just kind of like this. A little bit of paint, dab it on. 
And it's better to take an extra coat in your time than to try to get it all in one if it's not good enough. Because again, you don't want runs or drips because those are awful. strokes nice and now easy and the door is going to be exactly the same trick except for let's see let's move this around door has the trick of having these little pieces in here kind of want to dab it in the corners and you just kind of brush it out like that. And again, really light, not a lot of not a lot of paint. Get the corners. And then go with the grain. Go with the grain. And in the middle, the grain's going to be up and down. Let's see here. So here you can see the grain's going this way. take this door handle off to do this but I'm gonna be impatient if you get the door handle that's what the wet rags for okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a little bit and then I'm going to paint a little more and see what happens okay so got the door frame I'm just going to work on the actual door itself. <clears throat> Again, make sure that you've uh, washed all the little nooks and crannies off and made sure it dried completely before doing this. But you can see, I'm not going to take a real wet brush. I'm just going to go over it real light, just like this. I'm just kind of like Try to take long strokes to make sure I don't leave brush marks everywhere. There we go. Just follow the grain. And just like that. There we go. It takes a while to do this. It's probably going to take like an hour per door or something like that. Maybe a little more. Just take your time. Don't be in a rush. Don't make drips. Don't make drips. Drips are the spawn of Satan. Okay, and the, the big flat parts that I'm doing right there are actually the easy parts. The, the harder part is these little spots. You kind of got to dab it in the corners, like that. And then again, brush it on each of the surfaces. But again, you're doing it so that your brush is pretty close to dry. It's got barely any paint on it, so you're really just spreading a very thin amount of paint. Otherwise, you end up with tons of drips. And once you're done, just take the long, light strokes with it almost completely dry again. Barely any paint. Move this one out of the there. Way better to do multiple coats than to make drips. Again, you're just touching up. You're not repainting necessarily. It'll look like it, but you're really just touching things up and spruce it up and make it pretty again. There we go. Double check the drips and make sure that your brush strokes didn't mess up everything on the outside. There we go. There's one little spot, one, one of the six panels done. Okay, just go ahead and do that. Your corners. I'm 
not a professional painter. I don't pretend to be, but it just isn't rocket science. So, I'm brushing them in. Nice light brushes over the top to get the stroke where they belong. If you use these cheap brushes, you'll get hairs in the paint, like right there. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go like that, get it out, and that's exactly why we got the wet rag. Okay. Let's see if we can do this with a little bit of a close up here. So we can kind of see what we're doing here. Closer angle. Okay. Okay, let's see here. There we go. This is gonna be hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint on there. Get the paint in the corner. There you go. See how it just kind of starts filling in. Oops, I'm gonna lose my focus here. I'm gonna try to not get too close. There we go. Okay, a little more paint. I'm sure this is horrible technique. <laughs> If I were a professional painter, or if a professional painter ever watches this, they can be horrified. And there you go. You can hear the brush is making that noise can tell that it's a dry brush. There we go. Now we can always go back into the into the middle parts afterwards to get it all pretty again. Okay, so hopefully that helped a little bit. Flick too much, always you'll get paint splatter off of your brush. It doesn't seem like I'm going fast. Get a nice long strokes with the grain. Super smooth. Okay. See, I'm still going with the grain. Okay, there we go. Another partial brush here. Look 
this spot on the door might not have ever been painted. Oh, that's horrible. If I were you, I would tape any door handles off. I would not try to cut in like this. There we go. Nice long, gentle strokes. Nice long round spline. You might have to put on your reading glasses to see the strokes just right. I think this is why painters like to use uh, sprayers. It's a lot, lot, lot messier, but a lot quicker once it's uh, started. Once you got it all set up, you can paint everything really fast. Okay, now you can see dry brushes, follow the wood grain, follow the wood grain, follow the wood grain. There we go. Okay, well, hopefully you get the idea. It looks quite a bit better. 17 minutes of glorious painting. I'm going to finish this up, but I'm not going to do it all in the video. Good luck, Mom.